Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, depending on where you are watching us from. Sincerely, it is not good to be idle. And one needs to find something doing. And one should work to earn a living. But does it mean one has to do anything? Why are people so desperate just because of what they will get? Because of money. Please, this is not a smear campaign at all. Occasionally, I have listened to that South South boy. I don't know whether it's Calabar or Akwaibon. Nsima from IPOB days, uh, when Mazen Namdekano was yet to be kidnapped from Kenya. I've also continued to manage to listen to him um, once in a while when he was a staunch Simon Epa follower through the start of autopilot. All through, what I have noticed is a very crazy but insincere zeal. I see someone trying to make a living and believes anything goes. I see a very desperate person that must meet the target set by Facebook for him. Do you realize that Nsima, during those times, hardly do videos? In most of his broadcasts, he was either airing Simon Epa's broadcast or hosting Nelly of Ebu. I saw a very huge zealous emptiness. I found out so quickly, even from those season that he worked with IPOB. He doesn't really believe in the organization, but working hard to end from online broadcasts. Please note, I am not against anyone becoming a content creator and making a living online, but it is so bad for people not to be sincere to themselves. Certain people I spoke with also confirmed this, that uh, Nsima is not sincere about it, but just about how he can make money from it. That's just his concern. That again is not my problem, but why deceive people and knock heads together? Please note that Nsima or anyone else must not work for Biafra. It's not a must. It's not a must. So why deceive people because um, of some money you will get because of some you want to you know gain certain things, influence? Why 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 so much desperation? So while watching Nsima, it wasn't too long that he and Sima uh, parted ways with Emma. In a short while, he had switched. He became a Tinubu supporter. Can you imagine the swiftness at which it happened? There wasn't a pause, perhaps, to think about the next step forward. As I talk about this, Fanika already comes to my mind too. At least, that again confirms Nsima is what he is. I see chameleon. I see people only after stomach infrastructure. I see people who can just do anything because of money, longer truth. Being a Tinubu supporter is not a problem at all. But trying to show that support by attacking Ibos. Most of Nsima's empty broadcasts is just to malign the Ibos, attack whatever is Ibo, and insult P2B campaign everything in sort IPOB. In a recent video Nsima did, he claimed INEX server was under attack by Igbo hackers who intended to manipulate the result to favor Labour Party P2B. And in a more recent video, Nsima is seen trying to take advantage of the current disagreement between some Igbos and Yorubas and like I said some who are about to vote, uh, you know, we are heading for the Guba and State House of Assembly elections. Nsima is raising alarm as Chief Alama that Labour Party is trying to take over Lagos. Well, that is not the news, but you need to hear who he is referring to as Labour Party. The hidden agenda of Labour Party has been finally exposed. Labour Party has been hijacked by the Biafra or IPOP members. And so, the hidden agenda of Labour Party have been exposed. 
Despite the fact that the president elect, His Excellency Asiwaju Bolamed Tinibu, has called on everybody, even his opponent, to come together, you know, by setting up a reconciliation committee, calling on everybody, all stakeholders, to come together, that he wants us to work together and to bring prosperity to Nigeria. The president said, the president elect have said that I want to be the president of the United Nigeria. Yet, the members of Labour Party, they do not accept that. They have this hidden agenda. It's shocking. The hidden agenda of Labour Party have been exposed. I want you to pay attention to this. And um, very, very clear, the people of Isyalangwa North, the people of Abia State has decided to make sure the state goes to Labour Party. Just like Lagos State is non-negotiable. Remember, our top priority remains Lagos must not be negotiated by any cost. We must defeat Lagos. Labour Party must take over Lagos at all costs. Otherwise, there's cause for alarm because we know very well that Lagos is the key state among the 36 plus F city. So Lagos, Lagos is non-negotiable state. I encourage all stakeholders of Lagos State, the Ebos, the support groups, the Marxists in Lagos, the all regions that conflict up and make up Lagos states. They must do everything at all costs to make sure that Labour Party take over Lagos State. So I am reporting. My name is Honorable Vincent Anthony Obani, the global head of the support groups of Obidati Support. And I want to let you know that everything is under control. Labour Party is non negotiable. Labour Party is taking over this state, Abia. And I swear, we are not going to negotiate Lagos State. Instead of we, this one will Ginger Mutebu just uh, stepping out from the uh, centre where this program just held. And as you can know, we are not going to negotiate Lagos State at any level. Remember, Lagos State is our top priority. We can lose any state, but we must not lose Lagos State. All stakeholders are hereby on this order. Make sure that we have a massive vote against APC in Lagos State so as to make sure that we conquer in Lagos State. Otherwise, we are going to go back to square one. Lagos is our top priority. Lagos is where we have a big problem. We must not give out at any cost, even if it costs us our lives. Must take Lagos. Must. The people who want to keep it. Elsima claimed Labour Party has been hijacked by IPOB. Yes, that is his claim. That Labour Party is now IPOB. Meanwhile, in this whole thing that was played, there is no sign of IPOB, weather flag or anything. It's just all about how a party will win a particular place. All parties are interested, just like APC is interested in winning Southeast. All parties are interested in winning the other places. Why so, so much desperation? The other day I had him saying in everything he puts in trust that he, he, he's, he works hard. But that is not the case. This is a case of longer throat. Because of stomach infrastructure. There is no sign of IPOB in that video we played. The only thing we see there, a party working hard on how to win a state. APC does the same thing. PDP does the same thing in Southeast. They plan on ahead. They are not planning to take the state by force. They are planning to go through the electoral process. So why such crazy alarm? Why mention Igbos all the time? Why link it with... Why, why mention that IPOB has influenced Labour Party? Sincerely, I am pondering over such evil desperation. What has IPOB and Labour Party got together? Nothing. Labour Party believes in a better Nigeria, and IPOB wants splitting of Nigeria. In fact, a part of IPOB believes that Labour Party's presidential flag bearer in uh, the 2023 election is an enemy of IPOB by certain acts allegedly committed by him while he was governor of Anambra State. So the two has nothing in common. Saying IPOB uh, through Labour Party is attempting to take control of Lagos is the worst thing I've ever heard. And Sima should be advised to say what he knows. No one is stopping him from hustling and making money or supporting Tinubu. Nobody is stopping him. 
Everybody can make a choice. But one is not expected to do anything to get money. Nsima, continue your Facebook live and others. But please look for other content. At least make sense. Trying to ruffle a whole ethnicity is not the same as dealing with one person or some persons. Nsima, for him to make sense in any of his brokers, he has to call Ibos. Can you imagine? Anyway, I know this video will somehow get to him. Let him respond to me and let's uh, drag it. This is very bad. You want money. We understand. Uh, Facebook has given you target. Uh, you know, we, we, we also know about this. We're all in social media. The Facebook target of posts. Uh, if you're doing, um, if you have that kind of assignment or uh, arrangement with them. Now you want to sound relevant to certain people. You have to call EBOS, you have to call IPOB, and you have to attach IPOB to Labour Party. Oh my God. Why so, so much desperation? This is the kind of desperation that leads people to hell. Yes. Because you want to do anything because you want money. Anyway, viewers, I want you to give a thought on this. Write your comment. Tell us what you think. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more updates. Bye-bye.